Okay, so the purpose of this video is to hopefully explain uh, one way, there's probably multiple ways, but this is one way to apply multiple texture maps, to layer multiple texture maps on an object. All I have here is a basic cube with the standard UV set that uh, is generated when you create the cube. And then I have a material applied to this, just generic material. And I have uh, four texture maps that I pulled down off the internet. This is the uh, base brick JPEG image that I'll use as a basis. And then I have a sign here that has a PNG. It's a PNG, so it has an alpha channel built into it. I also have another image that has a separate mask, and I'll show how to apply those. So, first thing is uh, let's apply the base texture. So I'm just dragging that into the window. And I'm going to initially just hook that up and plug that into color. And you notice I have no change. And you can either, you can turn on texture to see what's going on immediately, but you won't be able to see layered textures. So you're going to want to go into look dev mode uh, for most of this work. And I have Node Wrangler installed, so I'm going to control T and give myself um, control nodes here, mapping, and I'm going to increase the maps, uh, mapping on there to get some tiling, and also to show that the tiling on one texture can be separate from other textures. So I'm going to pull this off to the side. Now the next thing I want to put on here is I'm going to add in this garage sign. So I'll grab it and drag it into the window. And I'm going to need to add a uh, mix RGB. Put it up here, and this is one of the this is one place where Blender is kind of non-intuitive, is that your base needs to plug into color one, and color uh, is going to plug into number two. I'm going to bring this down. You can see that what I'm getting here is actually just a mix. It's just like a 50-50 fade, and that's not what I want. I want this to be 100%. So I'm going to take the alpha that's included in the PNG and plug it into the factor. And then what that does is it pretty much takes over the whole thing because it's using the base UV set. It's using this base UV set. And uh, if I drag over and look at the garage sign, this is basically what's happening. It's a, overtaking the whole thing and I don't want that. I only want it with the garage sign. I'm going to put it on two faces. Okay. So what I need to do is create another projection, another UV projection. So I go to my uh, vertex group page here and I hit plus and I create a new UV map. Then in, uh, in here you have a couple of different choices and I'm just going to do this um, in kind of an easy way. I'm going to hit A and select everything and then U and I'm going to pick a uh, cube projection. And what that does is it basically lays out each face, one right on top of the other one uh, in the UV set. And if I grab all these and drag them off to the side, you'll notice that nothing changed. And the reason is because over here, um, I haven't told this map what UV set to pay attention to. So I'm going to add an input, UV map input. I'm going to drag the input uh, to the vector and pick the map. And then you look at it and you say, well, that doesn't work because it's showing up on all of them. Okay, well, what you need to do in that case is go to uh, the repeat here and turn it to clip. And then it doesn't show up at all. And that's because it's only, it's only here. It's only showing up in there. So if I want to, for example, uh, put it on this face and this face, I can just grab those and drag them over. And of course, if you have multiple maps, uh, multiple texture maps, or uh, I'm sorry, multiple polygons that you want to project over, you would pick those, create a projection, and drag it onto what you wanted. And again, these are independent, so if I want to scale that down, that's a bug in 2.8 or rotate it, or position it, 
you can take that map and put it in multiple places. Okay, so now um, that texture's a little bit. Let's go ahead and put it like that. Okay, so that's pretty easy. You got one map laid on top of another one. And you can go ahead and apply the same map in multiple places on a model. You just have to have a specific UV set for it. And tell it, tell the system where to put it. Um, now, if I want to add another map uh, that's going to be a little bit more um, unusual, per se. So if I grab, if I want to project the, uh, the manhole cover and put it on the corner here, I can do that by, again, it, it won't work in any of the UV map sets that I have, so I'm going to create another one. So I have UV map 02. I'm going to pick these three uh, polys, and I'm going to say uh, U, and project from view. And what that does is that gives me this kind of funky corner projection. So I'm going to scale that up. And because basically this, this next UV just replicates this one and drops it down, if I pick uh, the other, if I go ahead and pick all the polygons, you'll see that they're kind of scattered around. But um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and pull these off to the side. Ah, that's what's going on. And Some weird clipping thing going on there. All right, so my main projection again is going to be on this corner. So we do the same thing over here, essentially. Um, you're going to need these nodes again, all three of these. So I'm just going to grab them, Shift D, drag them up, and uh, let's control work. Okay, your basis again becomes this set of maps. So that again goes into control one, or color one, sorry. And this map uh, is the wrong map. So I'm gonna drag in the manhole cover and delete this map. And I'm gonna drag in the manhole cover mask. Drag that up here. And both of these uh, will use that new UV projection. So I'll need to plug that in and tell it which ones to use. Okay. And color goes to color two. It's the new layer on top. And color, in this case, because the alpha channel is, is basically color, becomes factor. You're going, hey, nothing happened. Yeah, it's because Mr. Captain Obvious here hadn't plugged that in there yet. And again, you see how this is projecting everywhere. And you don't want that. Um, so what you're going to do is turn, come over here and make sure that clip is set. And there you go. Now you have multiple maps um, projected onto the same object using different UV sets. Uh, I do not think this is going to work in a game engine. What you'd want to do if you were going to pull this out and put it on a game engine is you'd want to bake these to individual maps. And if you were going to, um, if you wanted the bricks to be, you know, you want to put a normal map on this and give it more texture, more, more of a realistic feel, um, instead of mixing just RGB nodes, you'd want to go ahead and use mixed shaders. But you'd go ahead and use the same basic idea. So whereas here you have textures, you would have other texture nodes, or sorry, uh, material nodes. And you would just mix those shaders together and plug it in. And actually that's incorrect. It's uh, You'd be mixing shader uh, nodes, not material nodes. But anyway, you get, you get the idea. If you want these to look different, you're going to have to make new materials and then you would use the alphas to clip just like you did with the textures. Anyway, I hope that's helpful.